Royal Reunion in New York. Battle of the Brothers as Prince Harry and Prince William head to Manhattan. It looks like Manhattan is about to host a royal showdown this September. In an unexpected twist of timing, Prince Harry and Prince Williams are both to be in New York City for significant events, sparking speculation about a potential battle of the brothers in the Big Apple. On August 27th, a spokesperson for the Prince for the Duke of Sussex confirmed that Prince Harry, 39, will visit New York City during the UN General Assembly High Level Week and Climate Week. The timing couldn't be more intriguing as it coincides with Prince William's Urchard Prize Innovation Summit, slated for September 24 at the Plaza Hotel. So guys, Harry has a packed Manhattan schedule. I'm so loving this for Harry. You go there and you make your mark and you show William how to work because he's so lazy, it's not funny. Prince Harry's visit to New York City promises to be a whirlwind of engagement focused on advancing his philanthropic initiatives. During Climate Week, which runs from September 22nd to 29, a high-level week from September 23 to 27, Harry will be busy supporting several of his key causes. According to his spokesperson, he'll be participating in events with African Parks, the Halo Trust, the Diana Award, and Travelers showcasing his ongoing commitment to conservation, humanitarian work, and responsible travel. In addition to these engagements, Prince Harry will also be furthering the work of the Archwell Foundation, the non-profit organization he co-founded with his wife, Meghan Markle. The Archwell Foundation has been making ways with its focus on mental health, digital wellness, and community building initiatives. And Harry's New York trip will undoubtedly shine a spotlight on these efforts. Meanwhile, looming around the corner is Prince Williams, who, who will be in New York for his third annual Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit, co-hosted by Bloomberg Philanthropies. This global environmental contest launched by William in 2020 aims to inspire innovative um, solutions to the world's most pressing environmental challenges. With 1 million Urchard prizes awarded annually in five categor categories until 2030, the initiative is one of the Prince of Wales' most ambitious projects to date. While it's not yet confirmed whether William will personally attend the summit, I'm sure he's going to run away because Harry is there. Or on the flip side, he's going to want to be there, but Harry is definitely going to outshine him. So William is in, is in a lose-lose situation. The event's timing just as his children, Prince George, Charlotte, and Prince Louis, return to school leaves room for speculation. Williams' attendance could mark another milestone for his growing influence as a global leader in environmental activism. The simultaneous presence of Prince Harry and Prince William in New York City adds a layer of intrigue to their already complex relationship. The brothers, who have taken divergent paths in recent years, have been at the center of media attention ever since Harry and Meghan stepped back from their royal duties and relocated to the United States. And I might add, even before that, and obviously it was William's jealousy that really caused the feud because he realized just how impactful Harry and Meghan are. While Harry's focus has shifted towards personal causes, and projects such as the Archwell Foundation and his environmental work with travelers. William has continued to carry out his royal duties 
with an increasing emphasis on global environmental issues, such as those highlighted by the Earthshot Prize. Prince Harry was last in New York in October 2023 for the Archwell Foundation's first in-person event, the Archwell Foundation Parent Summit. Mental wellness in a digital age. I remember that big um, summit that they had, which went down well with it. Dr. Vivel, there's, um, the second gentleman was there as well, Kamala's husband. So it was just great. This summit, which brought together parents who had experienced tragic losses connected to their children's social media use, was a poignant moment for Harry and Meghan, further establishing their dedication to mental health advocacy. Earlier this year, Harry and Meghan also made two significant international trips under the Archwell banner, visiting Nigeria in May and touring Colombia from August 15 to 18. These trips underscored their commitment to creating positive change on a global scale. As both brothers prepare for their very packed schedule in New York, the world will be watching closely with their paths crossed in Manhattan. Whether or not a royal reunion is on the cards, one thing is certain. Prince Harry and Prince William are each making their mark in their own way. And the city that never sleeps is about to witness yet another chapter in their ongoing royal saga. So guys, we are waiting with bated breath. September, you know Harry's 40th birthday, he's gonna turn 40, he's doing things, he's creating, he's making a difference. And if only Williams could focus on Earthshot and make it even a quarter of what Invictus is, then of course we can say both brothers are doing good in the neighborhood. Both brothers are here to serve. But William is so hell-bent on bringing Harry down that he will always be a loser. He will always fail. And Harry will always be rising to the top. I mean, this man, I am so impressed with him. I'm so impressed with all the challenges that have faced his way. He has risen to the top. I mean, we know about his book coming out in paperback in October. So this year was such a great year for Harry. So many important things on the slate, so many things on the schedule, and he just continues to shine. We know next year is Invictus, so there's so much to go, so many things to happen with Harry and Meghan, and we are so proud of them. So guys, please don't forget to like, share, Turn on your notification bell so you never miss a beat. I know my voice is sounding rather husky and rusky at the moment, but that's okay. We just love to share things about Harry and Meghan. So bye.